Okay, everything looks good now. I think we're all ready to go, so welcome back, everybody. As I was just saying, we're doing some Kaizo today, and as you can see, I have myself a Charizard, along with everyone else who has been leveled up a little bit. But I also got to show something off. Like I was just saying to chat here, um, when I was leveling up, I got Pokerus. So that's just the thing I have now. This is my first time actually getting it in Gen 2, but it's kind of funny because this is Crystal Kaizo, so the stuff that Pokerus actually enhances doesn't even apply to this game. Isn't that great? Anyways, it's got Flamethrower, Ember, Slash, Smokescreen, which is 5 PP. Let me just go down here. And Dana learned Submission and Earthquake, as you can see, which is quite handy. Hang on, I'm just gonna put my phone on mute because I realized I forgot to do that. Now, the reason you hear the gym music is because I decided to just kind of re relearn the puzzle here. Because I didn't want to mess around with that on recording for like five minutes. I left Charizard up front, but it's okay. It's the lowest level one anyway. Let's just give it one good chance. All that's left to do is fight Morty. There's nothing else I can do except um, fight wild Pokemon in the Burn Tower. I trained this Charizard from scratch. I went back to the to the, like uh, around New Bark Town. Okay, let's get him. Not a whole lot you can really do in this fight anyway, but we'll just use Flamethrower up because why not? Most things on this team will probably eradicate you, but that's okay. Its DV seemed okay. They seemed above average, so I took it. Like, a good chunk of them were at least over 10. And when the max is 15, that's pretty good. Okay, so I can two-shot this with Flamethrower. That's good. I didn't run into another shiny, but that's pretty funny. Oh, come on. Well, so much for that. All that training just to go down like that, huh? There's the Confuse Ray. I also trained for essentially to try and beat Chuck today if I could. I gave everyone a handful of levels and I trained up that Charizard from scratch so that I can keep up with the rest of the playthrough. Because as I learned with Heracross a few episodes ago, like, I could not train that thing as I go along. I can only give experience to the people that are already, like, at the high levels. Alright, let's finish it off. This is already not the best attempt. I'm d I doubt I could one-shot it with Ice Punch, too. Charizard was close, it just needs to be able to tank one Sludge Bomb. Lantern. Alright, so now, Dana has Earthquake, so we can do this. I trained that thing at level 50 because it gets its second move at level 50. It's really kind of impossible for me to not, like, train the Pokémon between episodes, is it? Alright, here we go. Having Earthquake will probably make Doug Trio pretty obsolete now, too. Actually, that Charmander was, like, around the first couple. It seemed like it had decent stats, so I took it. Alright. What's kind of annoying, though, is that the encounter rate on that area is actually, like, really low. Alright. Now let's send out for Alligator and Spam Crunch. I might be able to do this. kind of wild that I can be a higher level here and still unsure if I'm even going to win. Let's do it. Okay. Once you get a smoke ball, Doug Trio will be obsolete. Okay. I did originally catch it so it could run away from things, but I don't need it for that purpose ever since I get a, got out of Union Cave. Come on. Even if I lose here, I can just go get more levels and wow. Fantastic. That wasn't even enough. That's not good. I thought I could take it down to half with a crunch. Oh boy. Well now. Hmm. I could use Doug Trio up here. I don't need to put the soft sand on Dana. It still hurt me pretty easily, but being fast would help. I just gotta try and save these two. Dana absolutely needed to have Earthquake because it can't submission things here. Recovered with leftovers. All right, now I can do is hope for a high roll here. Oh, that's a very high roll. Come on. 
okay. And it was a crit. Okay, I could not ask for better RNG there. Sorry, Doug Tree, you're still probably gonna be replaced. Stantler. Okay, perfect. This is another really thing I need Dana for. Let's finish him off. Does Morty's badge give a boost to any stat? I can't re can't recall. All right, break. Hopefully, with two different areas I can go to, I'll have more trainers to fight. I'm gonna have to do what I can to keep the levels up. Oh, so close. Gengar. I didn't even make it to Gengar last time. Another reason I wanted to have Earthquake. Oh yeah, that is uh, shiny, all right. You can definitely tell. Ooh, it's got Fire Punch. Come on, you're a higher level. Your special defense is better than your defense. I can tank another one, probably. Oh, here we go. 51. Look at that. And the last one is Umbreon. Damn. I didn't realize... I didn't realize how good Dana would actually be for this battle, too. Okay. Break it. Just barely lived. If it had a focus band, there's there's text in Gen 2 for that, I hope. Well, this is bad. Surprised he didn't use a Hyper Potion or anything. Oh, crap. Great. I'm better off switching. Sakura can't do a whole lot here anyway, but I could just sack the Sand Troop, because why not? Okay, I'm set up to finish it now. Just send out Dana again, and there's no way it's gonna live another submission. This is perfect. We can do this. I didn't get a chance to, like, re go back and reset for an Eevee. I might not do that till I get Fly, because backtracking is an absolute pain in with these routes. Okay, perfect. Even then, it still wasn't perfectly clean. I'm not good enough yet. All right, this badge is yours. Asprey received the badge. Look at that. Pokemon up level 50 will obey you. Pokemon that knows Surf will be able to use that move anytime. Okay, perfect. Now, one thing I will backtrack for... Er, uh, no, I can't talk today. And okay, Shadow Ball. I might use that later. We'll worry about it later, though. I need to go back and get the Mystic Water from Cherry Grove. Oops. Right, the gym's over here. What am I doing? Mystic Water is such a good item for anyone that kind of is just set to spam Surf. It'll probably make Surf my most viable options for uh, sure now. And for Alligator. It looks like for Alligator is going to be sticking around for a long while. Currently with the team, it's, it's better. It still uses a six, but it's kind of hard to train up five or six Pokemon in this game and keep them at, like, the levels the game needs you to be. We'll take it a little bit at a time. I might just have to train a new party member from scratch off stream again. There's a Bumble. It's a Bumble. May as well just spam Flamethrower on it. They put this grass here, too, just, like, below the ledge, so they- just to make it a bit of a pain in the ass to get back to Pokemon Center, huh? Okay, there's a little bit there. No problem. Oh. It's just trees there. Great. <sighs> that small patch of grass. All right, it's fine, though. It's just a rodent. We're set up for a wholesome little day today, chat. Um, we're gonna do Kirby 64 after this, because I figured we should do something wholesome. Because something in this game is going to just make me mad again. We know it. We all know it. 
Plus, I promised Vampy we'd do that for her birthday. A little bit belated, but... Still, Kirby is fun. Hold up now. There's Joey. I still haven't deleted his number because I don't know why. I can actually battle Joey along the way. I wonder if Kaizo changed his team. You do that. As for tomorrow, I might do an evening stream. Yeah, I want to get all the crystals in Kirby. Might take a little bit of going through the stages again, but it's Kirby. You can get through them really easily. Plus, chat can just kind of, like, tell me what powers I need if there's any walls coming up. I know about that one trick where you need cut and, um, rock to, like, climb a wall, but the game doesn't tell you how to do that. That one tripped me up so much as a child. Alright, let's get through this. I should probably just use a frickin' uh, repel or something. I'm not gonna catch anything or want to battle anything here. I can remove Joey's number, but... It, would it really be Kaizo if I got rid of it? I don't know. Isn't it more funny to watch me, like, lose a gym battle, be angry, and then get called by Joey? I've been waiting. Let's battle. I have no idea if Kaizo edited any of the rematch teams. Or if it just repeats them. Let's find out. No, it's still level 6. <laughs> oh, he got a hit on. At least I'll get some pocket change for this. Whopping 72 right there. I lost again. That's right, hand over your money. Okay. We wanted to go all the way down the Cherry Grove, so we can use Surf. Hang on, what day of the week is it? Because I might be able to get an item. It's Sunday. Doesn't that mean the person's over there for the pink bow? I think it's Mystic Water. I don't need it. You want it? Okay, there we go. Back to fishing for me, then. Alright. Sunday is the Magnet. Isn't that, like, um, to the south of Ecratique? That actually would be good to get, too. Let me just put this on for Alligator. Can't remember. I want to be absolutely certain, though. Hell's Effect wore off. That's fine, let's just go. I don't recall seeing an extra NPC to the south of, um... To the south of Ecratique, but I can take another look, because the magnet would come in handy. I could just at least put it on, um, Sakura for Thunder Punch. Okay. This over here. Run through that right there. I don't have Flash on me. There's nothing in the water to surf to over here, right? Yeah, no, nothing there. Hey, cut. Now let me just pop up here. And see if there's still like a rare candy around here. Okay, they still gave me one. Probably should save any rare candies I find for when I'm like stuck on a gym battle. Because I, I can always level up like between streams easily. Alright. Wasn't there more water over here, or is that just Heart Gold Soul Silver that did that? Oh, there it is. Now, what did they put here? Oh, hi, hi Kingler. Hi, level 45, Kingler. I'm gonna take a chance and see if Sakura can just kill it. Hopefully it uses a water move. Otherwise, Sakura is just dead. Oh. Yeah. Attack went up. Hey, there it goes. 
Well, we get a little bit for it. I wonder if grinding surf Pokemon will be easier. I mean, it'll be easy to do that once I get to um, the ocean. Hold up a sec. Let me just put you up front so you can Thunder Punch anything that shows up. See if anything else will pop in. Let me get a drink here. I need some water. It is hot today. Okay, that's the trainer. Where's the Sunday guy? Could he be like over here somewhere? He's normally on this route, I'm sure. Is that him? Ah. Uh -huh. Told you give me this if I saw you. Items are full. Oh, come on. Great, I'm gonna have to sell stuff soon. Iceberry, I will... <sighs> it's Kaizo, I might need that, actually. The regular berry. Here, have a treat. Have a treat. I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Metal Claw is actually 100 base power in this game. Really? What was it now? Oh, I remember. Pokemon that knows electric moves should hold it. My sis Monica says it powers up electric moves. Okay. Let's see here. Give this to you to power up Thunder Punch. All right, now let's climb all the way back up. Was this? No, it wasn't a dead end. Wonderful, we made it back. Now the question is, Olivine or Mahogany? Both are gonna be a pain in the butt no matter which direction I go. The Pokemon are fully healed. Let's go. Hmm, Mahogany is close by. Less trainers. Maybe I could check. You know what? For all I know, there's probably something over here that blocks me from going this way. It's not like Kaizo to give me any freedom. So let me check this way first. Oh. Yo, what's up, Croconaw? What are you doing here? I've already got a level 55 one. That's evolved. Thunder Punch is now my second strongest attack because of the magnet. It's useful. Alright, easy place to grind. Free Ultra Ball. Are they gonna make make me go through Mount Mortar? They probably are. I can't imagine they just let me easily surf on over to that. So, starters here are at level 40. I wonder if there was a place I could have found a level 40 Charmeleon instead of going back to level 5 Charmander. Kadabra evolves at level 55, but I need to keep it to like 67 or something to get Psychic. I forgot to go back for the, um... Uh, what is it? The Everstone. I'll have to do that when I get Fly. Hello, Mr. Turtle. How are you? Every Pokemon's catchable. Good. Good. Eight seventeen. I can only get a few steps into the water before I run into something. At least this is a good place to train. Do it. Come on. Only a teensy bit, but it's good. Alright, that's there. Oh. Uh, okay, so the middle exit only goes backwards. I have to go all the way to the other one. Hmm. Suicune's not even down there. 
Now, the next question I guess I should check is, will I need Flash if I go in there? At least the turtles die easily. I have to pretty much take out every wild Pokemon that comes my way, though, because I know I'm going to need the extra experience. Because the last couple episodes has just been me feeling powerful, getting to the gym leader, and finding out that I stand literally no chance against them, and I have to train off stream. So making sure I'm strong along the way is all I can do, especially at this point since I have a good enough team variety to, like, actually farm the stuff. This one's level 41. It doesn't really matter if you interact with Suicune in the overworld. It always shows up at the, um, at, like, the t Tin Tower no matter what. It's just kind of there sometimes. Did they ever change that in, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, where you had to find all the stuff? Why is it bright in here? So I don't have strength. Um, strength is an olivine. Okay, so yeah, they're not gonna let me go through all this. Wait, Chuck's badge lets you use, uh, fly. Is it Jasmine's badge that lets you use strength? Yeah, they're, they pretty much walled me. I have no choice but to take the long path. Let's do it. Mount Mortar won't be happening until for quite a while now. And yeah, they're gonna make me go through this. It's a sailor, so he could have water types. Let's do this. Was it Whitney's that lets you use strength? I don't remember. I can't for the life of me remember what one does which. Because usually you don't have to think about it in Gen 2. Okay, perfect. Just spam Psybeam and we're good. Sometimes they let an early gym leader let you, uh, give you access to an HM for some reason. Just because some gym leaders have to. Like how Brock's badge in Gen 1 lets you use Flash, but that isn't relevant until, like, after the third gym, which is really weird. Your skill is world class. Wonder why they even bothered tying it to anything at that point, too. Don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? I don't know. I can't see your Pokemon. Go on, send him out, Olivia. Clefable? No, I don't think it's beautiful. In fact, I hate it. I think it should go away. This old gremlin. Switch out. Ooh. It's got the icy beam. The cold breath. I was worried I was gonna get frozen for that. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. 603, 603. We drink Moo Moo milk every day. Good for you. Alright. I just need the HM for strength. There's no badge for it, really. It's weird. I guess I gotta do this so you don't block me. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? I'm gonna go all the way back would suck. Last Dana would like to battle. I'm gonna just test it once I pick up the thing. Sandshrew can definitely learn it, so I'll just teach it to him. Alright. Level 52, Sakura is slaughtering. However, she's not gonna become an Alakazam this episode. We have to keep her keep her around for a while so we can get psychic. Because that crap is too important, and I just bonked my desk with my knee. Alright, there's a tough. This is where Dana is starting to shine. Being able to just switch in Dana when the opponent sends out, like, a chunky normal type like this is fantastic for me. Submission is great. It's kind of wild that, like, it doesn't have recoil damage here anymore. And I think its base power was increased. Yeah, I took a drink. It has been booped to, to oblivion. Two left. Victory Bell. This is what we got Charizard for. It's 8100 instead of 8080. Okay. 
Start blasting. Alucard is the lowest level, but they're the newest member of the team. They didn't really get a chance to do much in the gym battle, but that was kind of expected. Yeah, Heracross only... Oh, what? You got Focus Band? Oh, you scum. That's right, you missed. Kill. Heracross only spawns at level 10 because you can only get it from Headbutt Trees, so... Training one up took a while. Catching one with decent IVs that was also a girl is also, like, even more absurd. Took, a, took me a good while to get that to work. Raichu. Okay. Dana's got Earthquake. Just as a reminder, at level 45, Dugtrio's only ground attack is still mag Magnitude. You can get in the bug catching contest too. I guess that's true. I haven't really gotten a chance to do that. Because I guess my days that I stream have never been the bug catching contest. Oh. The odds of this activating are 30%, right? Or are they just 100 or like 90% for the opponent? It's 10%? No way. Does it, like, get lower odds in succession or something? Like, protect? Man, that hurts. Two 10%s right there. Wow. Can even proc on one HP. Man. Man, alright, let's see what's in the wild here. Called bad luck is what that is. Okay, Fero's are here. Do a Thunder Punch. Okay. It's gonna be annoying, but I'll have to stop Sakura from, like, manually evolving. Okay. Aren't you a cute trainer? I see your Pokemon. Yeah, Palmer runs Focus Band on his, uh, Rhyperior in the Battle Tower. That was so annoying. Okay, let's do this. I could use Charizard for Fly, I suppose. By the way, Dylan, if you missed it, I got Pokerus when I was grinding last night. You can see the status thing down there. So, its attack isn't as good as its special attack. I'm pretty sure that it had better IVs for its special stats. I could just give it Fly. Probably be better over Slash, honestly. I could just give it as a, it, as a stab option. There we go. I haven't got- the Everstone is back at New Barktown, and I probably should have went there when I was in Cherry Grove, shouldn't I? I didn't think about that. All I have to do is show Elm the, uh, the Togepi. Pokerus doesn't even do it in, uh, do it in it, yeah. Crystal Kaizo doesn't have, like, E, like, effort values, so it doesn't work. Okay, yeah, when you get Pokerus in Gen 2, Professor Elm calls to explain it to you. There's still extra dialogue at Pokemon Center. It's weird. Come on. Well, I'm gonna have to switch now. Even, unless this is a crit that finishes you off, that would be nice. Alright, not good enough. Okay, let's go inside some toss. Can I outspeed you and finish you with Flamethrower? Or you got another Hyper Potion in your back pocket. Pokerus is rare, but it's really kind of, like, not useful, like, at all. It's like, you get double effort values, it's like, okay. Like, most of the time, like, you max that stuff out pretty fast in a story playthrough anyway. It's only good if you're, like, building competitive stuff, like, post-game or something. Dugong. Okay, this is where we send in Dana and Submission. What's funny is, um, I remember when I was playing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I was using Cheryl to try and, like, hunt for shinies in the forest, and I got Pokerus before I found a shiny. And I guess I have Pokerus on that save file now, but don't really need it. <laughs> oh! You got Rock Slide too? 
Okay, I guess Dunk Trio is pretty obsolete. Let's go. Okay, Flareon. Let's get rough with the fluff. Oh, you're faster than me. I thought Flareon was the slow one. Okay, here we go. I should probably put the soft sand on Dana now. Excellent. Its next move should be Mega Horn, but I don't know don't know what level that is. Vile Plume. Uh, Charizard should be okay, but Vile Plume's got special. Air Cross is basically required for Crystal Kaizo, so I hear. Alright, light the plume on fire. Ooh. Okay, good. Being three levels ahead worked. I'm glad we got to see your Pokemon. I don't know if there's any wild Chansey at this point in the game, but, um... I mean... I I shouldn't assume that the Lucky Egg can even be on a wild chancy in this game at all. I think for Alligator was close to a level up. Oh, 36. Yeah, let me just put for Alligator up front. And sorry, but yeah, Dana has replaced you. I'm sorry, Magic Moles, but you helped us well, but you can't keep up. You gotta go the way of Mama Pidgeot. Soft Sand. Here we go. Oh, you know what I realized? I didn't pick up the charcoal in Azalea. That would be really useful for Charizard now. I gotta remember to do that when I get Fly, I guess. Punch it with ice. Held items are like a 10% boost in this gen, but... Should be okay. Better than nothing, right? Kill. Nine, nine, five. You got to level 56. Stats are looking pretty good. Yeah, we got new emotes, as you can see. A couple of them yo-yo commissioned for us. We've got Bears Hugs, uh, Bears Hugging. We've got Teddy Ursa writing in a notebook. And we got Teddy Ursa doing a duel. With a little duel disc. Alright, let me run away from this now. Okay, now we got a new trainer here. Try putting Alucard up front. I gotta watch out for rocks, but Gen 2, it's not like everybody's running Power Gem and Stone Edge. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. Unless he's got an Aerodactyl, I ain't worried. Okay, what's he got? A Golduck, of course. And my Thunder Punch user is a bit out of commission at the moment. If I switch in to for Alligator and just spam Slash, it should be okay. Oh, it's got Hydro Pump. Everybody's got better water moves than me. It's all good. Just hit it with two Slashes and we can go home. Okay, maybe three slashes. Why does it have pedal dance? Excuse me? What? That- there is no way this is like an egg move or some kind of like tutor move for Golduck. No way. There's absolutely no way. Is this thing just cheating? Oh, I'm about to go down. Looks like I might have to go back and heal. If I even can. It always bothers me how Charizard's back sprite only has one wing on the side. Why can't I see the other one to any degree? It looks weird. Okay. Murkrow, send it out, I can just sit it on fire. Also, Golduck is not a bird. It may be a duck, technically, but it's not a bird. Apparently it's some kind of event move. Why does Golduck get Petal Dance? 
What a weird event move. What, what event is that? Pidgeot. Alright, if I could take this out, 49 is in my sights. Bird Keeper just attended an event. We can't say it's illegal, technically. It's like an event move for Psyduck. Ooh, the team is going down. Alright, there we go. 49. I feel just like flying away now. You should. Get out of my face. Alright, so now I can just go back. Oh, regular berry. Cool. Berries are cool. Heal. Heal. Pokemon Center in, in New York gave out mystery eggs. That's the event. It's really random. Okay. Mmm, still don't feel like going all the way back to New Bark. So we're just gonna go with it right now. Gonna surf across the pond. This fence blocks the way. Who should I put up front? I can keep Alucard up front. Uh, everyone else is in, like, the 52, 52, and 56. Yeah. Other Pokemon from that event include Chikorita, Cleffa, Pichu, Igglybuff, and Smoochum. They got the move via the same event. Okay. So they all got Petal Dance. It's really random. I wonder if Pokemon Stadium 2 counts that as legal. Who knows? I wonder if a cartridge that has like an event Pokemon like that is worth anything. You see, it's probably long since dead, so it doesn't matter. Cartridge, I mean. It was just random what you got. Let me try something I learned today. What did you learn today, buddy? What did you learn? Show me what you learned. Is it something magical? Schoolboy Chad, what you got? Okay, Arbok. Hmm. I'm just gonna go right to Dana and use Earthquake. Cause I ain't fooling around with you. I wonder if I can at least get to Chuck today, but... Okay, you're gonna do that, that's fine. I'm gonna have to climb to the top of the uh, lighthouse... ...before I go to CN Wood, though, obviously. Like, I don't think I have to, but the guy won't give me the secret potion unless I talk to Jasmine at the top first. It would just be an extra back and forth if I don't do that. Okay, nice. Be healed up. I didn't study enough, I guess. No, you didn't, boy. Do I have any paralyzed heals left? Yeah, I do. Good. Oh, there you are. Mystery Egg was Japan only. New York was a different event. Okay. I hope it gets dark soon. Okay. Now, why do I have to go through this? I got a mint berry. The pack is full. This tree can be cut. Cut, use cut. Oh boy. Gonna make me get rid of these guys like this. Otherwise they're gonna block the, block the way. This is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Is it? I cut down a tree and approach this man from behind and he's like, Do you want to hear about my Pikachu? No, I don't want to hear about your Pikachu. No one wants to ever hear about your Pikachu. In fact, I will set your Pikachu on fire. How about that? Burn it all down.
There you go. Never stood a chance. I don't know anything about Pikachu's special defense, but it's Pikachu. So she'll be fine. Oh boy, here we go. Well, you should always brag about your Teddy Ursus. Such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. Everybody loves Teddy Ursus, and everybody wants to hear about them. If they don't, they're lying. What she got? He has a ferret there. It's only a ferret. What's it gonna do? Is it gonna have some silly event move? Double edge, okay. Oh, that. What? What? Stop. St cut that out. <laughs> well, nobody won that exchange, now did they? I don't mind losing. Yeah, clearly you don't. <laughs> I don't have a revive or anything, do I? <sighs> I don't. Put Dana up front for now, I guess. There's not that many trainers left anyway. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. In fact, that Sailor might be the last or second to last guy. There's a Psychic. Norman. Oh, he's got four, though. Apparently, I put the worst Pokemon to put up front, but... You don't have special or physical defense. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm faster than you. For now. Okay, there we go. 14.59. Giraffe. Ah, uh, okay, just let for alligator crunch it. Because this thing will probably just know Psychic and go for it. I think this is faster. Take a bite out of that giraffe. Could be made out of candy, just look at it. Oh, yeah, got Psychic, all right. All right, no drops, nothing that matters. Fifteen hundred, and what do you got? Mr. Mime. I guess I'll just keep biting it. Why not? Taking a bite out of Mr. Mime is the only way it's going to learn to keep its distance from things. Alright, good. Oh, it's a crit. Nice. Still a special move. Crunches. Jinx. Oh, if only my Charizard was ready to go here, huh? I may as well just let for Alligator do it all. Why not? For Alligator might not have much to do with the Sailor next, but that's okay. Sandshrew can just learn strength, so that's good. Okay, one more. Special defense drop. Seismic toss. Everybody seems to have seismic toss as, like, a backup option when they don't, like, have anything. Then again, Jinx could probably spam Psychic and do more damage. So I don't know why it's not doing that. Oh, of course, you have a focus band. Oh, of course, you got lovely kiss. That is the third focus band I've activated today. In the span of, like, what, 10 minutes, I want to say? It's going for it. It's going for it. All right, here we go. I might get knocked out here. Oh, nice. Thirteen fifty. Oh, your Pokemon have potential. I, I don't think this game is going to give me access to Thief. Because, like, putting a bunch of good um, items on Pokemon in this game, or the Trainer Mons, is clearly, like, what the game wants to do to make it a rough time for me. So if they gave me access to Thief, that would give me the chance to, like, get good stuff. And this game does not want me to have good stuff, I can tell you that. Oh. Didn't I... I thought I talked to you already. Never mind. That was the other two I did that for. Now I have to go back and reset the route because he's going to block the way. No, I have to take the country. What am I saying? I'm backwards. 
Okay, good. Dana's up front. She can just crash this rat with a submission. Yep, yeah, break it. Almost positive you stole a quick wall off a of Sneasel. Someone's gonna get beef. Okay. Someone must have it, then. Octillery. Uh, I Thunder Punch with Sakura. She's got the Magnet on her. Punch. Quick Claw is 2% on Sneasel. Okay. I know in this route in Vanilla, you can find Wild Magnemite that have a chance of, um, oh, come on. That have a chance of holding a Metal Claw. Or, sorry, not Metal Claw. A Metal Coat. So, fun fact, if you want to use Scizor and Fortress, uh, you can't because they're trade evolutions, but if you want to get them early instead of that one metal coat on the, um, the SSN or SS Aqua. You can get technically get them this early if you catch Magnemite until you get a metal coat. Here we go. Steelix. Oh, did I say Fortress? Oops. I did say Fortress, didn't I? Probably because Scizor is also Bug Steel, didn't I? Yeah. Alright. I don't know why I said Fortress. There we go. Ah, there it goes. Hmm, I could probably just out submission it, why not? Stab, this is enough damage here. It should be. Come on, Hitmonchan can't do anything. It's Hitmonchan. It's packing rock moves. Break its bones. I still laugh how even the rental Hitmonchan just, um... <laughs> it still has elemental punches. It's so bad. Hitmonchan is such a bad Pokemon for the first two gens, ain't it? Okay, looks like that's all of them. Is there any, like, item up here? Okay, it's a way back. that house there like this for you again there's no need to panic i don't bother with wimps like you speaking of weaklings the city's gym leader isn't here supposedly taking care of a sick pokemon at the lighthouse who boo hoo let sick pokemon go pokemon the camp battle is worthless why don't you go train at the lighthouse who knows it may make you a bit less weak okay healed and take a look over here why does the city have a different layout is there any reason for that like even ecrotique and stuff didn't have it there's no way to like block my path around here right when my pokemon got sick pharmacist and ecrotique made some medicine for me why would they move that house there Was, it all was that house always there? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. It's to make me have to surf to get into the lighthouse. Oh, it's the unused house? Oh, that's why it's there. I think I you're right. How about a photo? Wait a second. This isn't the cafe. Hold up a second. I just walked in and mashed A. Which building's the cafe? Are they they're just doing this to screw with me, aren't they? trade. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Sure. They go wherever there is water. Everybody looks the same in here, too. Hi, 
I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have a Skarmory, would you trade it for my Articuno? Okay. Gee, that's disappointing. I unfortunately don't have one of those. And I get the feeling I'm not gonna have access to a Skarmory for a good damn while. That's a bad trade. Skarmory is better. The guy in Goldenrod wanted uh, something for... What was it? It was something for uh, Zapdos, yeah. What the hell? Hold up a second. I need to repel. I need to figure out what the hell's going on. Do I... I have to go through the ocean to reach that, don't I? Let me just go have a look over here. I kind of wasted that repel now, didn't I? There's the battle tower. I'm staying the hell away from that. Have you gone to the battle tower? I think a lot of tough trainers have gathered there, but since you have so many badges, you shouldn't do badly at all. No. 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 Tell me they didn't. No. They did, they did, didn't they? It's a quillfish. Break it with Earthquake, because why don't we do that? That's a real fun way to reach the lighthouse. Also, hello, loud driver outside. Oh, hey, Lantern. Well, there's a way to catch one of those if I want it. Two. Gotta make sure the lighthouse Pokemon never escapes. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. Swimmers are just floating there forever, waiting to do this. Waiting to start a fight. Let me get a drink. Hey, uh, maybe stop spoiling stuff there, chat member. I'd appreciate it if you could stop that. Hit submission. Thanks for the reset there, Koja. Break its horn off and watch it go away. Oh, it's got double edge. It's just not running horn drill like all those other ones. Oh, never mind. They got max potion. That's just as bad. Yeah, let me fix my seat. I'm starting to slump in my chair a bit. Break it again. There were a good amount of swimmers in the ocean here. I'm probably going to have to fight every single one of them. Because as we all know, the ocean is a linear route and a maze I have to go through. Don't know if I'm going to have to do Whirl Islands or anything, though. Frank Dunsparce, what's it going to do? Bore me to death? Well, that's not true. Du uh, Bugsy's was kind of scary. Because it wasn't even a bug. It was just a high-level Pokemon with Double Edge. Early game. Alright, now fight the next one. No inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to my sea Pokemon. I got repels, so I can just kind of do this. Deal with this for now. Oh no. I should be able to just go to Charizard, I hope. Dana should have Megahorn around the corner, I hope, maybe. Uh-oh, full power return. They always got full power return. Or double edge. Light it on fire. Ah. Uh... 
I don't know if Sunflora got any buffs, but that's still never going to convince me to use one. 750. Ursula. I can let Dana just Earthquake this, honestly. No, they didn't. Everyone hates the Sunflower. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll give Sunflora some kind of, like, new form or something. That one city in Scarlet and Violet likes Sunflora, but they still didn't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mina. Welcome. Ooh, I'm feeling dizzy. Alright, let's beat up some more Goombas along the way. Goldfish used to be rare. Quillfish couldn't really do anything in, uh, in Gen 2, could it? Could it ever do anything? Can Overquill even do anything? I don't even know about that, to be honest. Okay, Mantine. He's trying not to laugh. He's holding it in. Every time, I'm gonna have to fight two back-to-back, -back, it seems. This is fine. This is fine. Dana can do it. She's- she's amazing. Hey, you're going- you're young and fit. Don't ride your Pokémon. Swim. Yeah, that's what you tell someone who's out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, you just- just jump in the water, bro. It's good. <laughs> I can't swim. I'm terrified of water. I wouldn't even want to go on a cruise ship. Let me see here. Break it. Alright, there you go. The idea of the ocean just terrifies me. Just some, like, just this massive, gigantic chasm or open canyon, whatever you want to call it, just filled with water, and if you fall in, well, you're probably never seen again. That just terrifies me. Alright, send it out here. Quillfish here. Quillfish just set spikes in Gen 2. Break it apart. 1027. A palm. A palm at C. We don't even know what's in the ocean, chat. We still haven't even figured out all the crap that's living in there. I ain't getting in there. 966. Uh-oh, I lost. Next one. Are you going to Cienwood? How about a quick battle first? Look at the positives. At least with these two being next to each other, I'm getting through the trainers faster. It's a big, empty, dark space with demon monsters. Sign me up. Exactly. We haven't seen all the deep monsters yet. They're down there. Probably. Not to mention, I have asthma, so the idea of holding my breath to go underwater just, like, makes me physically wince. Break it again. Eighteen twenty-seven. I lost that one. Oh, nothing here. I'm gonna run out of earthquakes very shortly. I mean, I say I'm afraid of the sea, but you know what? I probably I'm also afraid of the sky. Fly, the idea of flying around, ugh. Hate being too high up. I'm perfectly fine on the ground. 
I am content on the ground, chat. Little fish appeared again. Well, I need their experience. I'll use them up. Trains? Well, trains are on the ground. I'm not afraid of them. What's wrong with trains? They're on a track. They even even they have even less of a uh, possibility of something going wrong. Route 41. Oh, it's a dead end. Cool. Well, it looks like I might be going to Cianwood first now. Break the quillfish. Break the quillfish! These things are just floating up here, and they're probably gonna use explosion if I don't kill them in one hit. Fly is good. I want to be able to fly on my Pokemon. Real life, though? Not so much. Not so much at all. This thing has a ton of HP, so its meter will go down slowly. This is okay. We're all good. Everything is fine. Any boy. That's a high attack stat in both defenses. Oh, hey! We are ready. 120 power. What is its accuracy in Gen 2? I got Stab, and I got the boost from Bugsy's badge. I am ready to kill. 85? 95? <clears throat> I guess we'll see. Hmm. What's the animation look like in Gen 2? Okay, it's just Poison Sting. Or Fury Attack changed. Not very effective, but still. Oh, you know Surf, do ya? Oh, it is 85? Okay. Probably gonna die for that. Nope, I'm good. It's basically Hydro Pump. Still, seems pretty good. It had 10 PP, not 5, so... Hey, Joey! This is Joey! Let's get together and battle! I already beat you up. I already beat you up. Why are you trying to do this to me again, Joey? Remember how it went last time? Okay. Here comes man time. I'm running out of PP. Well, I got my strongest move. I probably should put someone else up front. Um... Sakura could kill a few things. Thunder Punch the Mantines. Man, I have no HP on Sakura. Well, yeah, can't one-shot you. That move set will do me good for the rest of the game. That's the plan. Just gonna give Sakura a psy Psychic over a Psy Beam, and her and the Elemental Punches will slay. Did you use an Alakazam when you played this, Dylan? Because I feel like running... Running it, uh, one with Psychic and the three punches is just way too good. Here we go. Or will be good enough for me. It has been very effective, but if you didn't hear, um, it evolves at level 55, but in order to learn Psychic, I have to keep it until level, like, level 67, I think. Otherwise, I have to get the Psychic TM in, like, Kanto, and I'm not doing that. You were using Larvitar? Okay. I hear that didn't work out too well. It was terrible. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to catch one. At least Kadabra can do things until 55, unlike Pupitar, who just dies to being spit on. 642. All the Mantine ran away as soon as I put her up there. There's Whirlpool. You don't get Whirlpool until Mahogany, so I don't think they can make me go through the Whirl Islands. I hope. Maybe.
blast him with the little little rings. I'm not so sure I'll even need a legendary since I got this uh, Sakura and Dana. We'll see. The Charizard is definitely good. I'm not so sure it's going to be like as good though. Because it's starting to seem like every fighting type in this game is pack and rock slide. But rock type shouldn't be as pre prevalent here. Since Doug Trio is getting moved, my other considerations for team members are um, possibly using Vaporeon as to replace for Alligator. I'm going to reset at Bill for a good IV EV. And... What was the other one? Right. I was thinking about getting a Golem just as like a physical wall. Nah, I could have killed that, but I ran anyway. The water's warm. I'm loose and limber. Sure, I'll take you on. Has Rhydon worked pretty well as like a rock physical wall in Gen 1 for me for Blue Kaizo? Parasect. Okay, fire punch it. Having the elemental punches here is the best idea ever. I got Charizard now for Flamethrower, but having Fire Punch is still fantastic. And then you fight Petal Dance Raichu. Hey, that's fun, yeah. Oh boy. 53. Damn, look at those stats and she's only that. I'm pretty sure Sakura's uh, bad IVs were in like attack and HP. Everything else was, like, near-perfect, I believe. Okay. I'll let Charizard set this on fire. Uh, Sneasel didn't get any buff to its base stats, right? The only way- it, since uh, Mistrevis got Miss Magia stats, it'd be cool if Sneasel and Gligar could have their future evolution stats, but I'm not so sure they got them. In fact, didn't Murkrow get nothing? It was only Mistrevis. Okay, nope, nothing? Okay. Quillfish. I could just Earthquake it with Dana. Do that. Nice. Excellent. Oh, I got one left. Okay. This marks... Beating these guys will mark six defeated uh, swimmers here, so that should be good. Ugh, pardon me. Now, chat, we are playing a happy, wholesome Kirby game after this, but I have been thinking about horror stuff again. Summer is a cool time for horror, horror games. Ugh, pardon me. I'm, <laughs> like, flubbing my words again. The waves are wild here. They tire you out while you swim. Um... In addition to getting, like, a collection of short indie games... Yo-Yo is helping with that, thanks. Um... I did get, um... On my PS5, I found out you can download Resident Evil Code Veronica as a PS2 classic. I kind of wanted to try and beat that for the first time. That one is very long, though, and it has, like, some really annoying issues, but I just never played and beat that one all the way through, and I kind of wanted to do it. And I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Finish off Charizard, it'll be fine. Alright, catch you later, friend. Set it on fire. Oh, cool, you got Max Potion. Cool Max Potion. Yeah, spooks have been a little infrequent. I've been trying to finish up a bunch of playthroughs lately, and that's worked out pretty well for me. I wanted to get back to Silent Hill on the Wii, too. <laughs> Just play that from the beginning. A1746. I felt like in a very Silent Hill mood again. Um, Kingler, hang on. Crap. I guess for Alligator can do it. Just use Crunch because it has massively bad special compared to its regular defense. Alright. Break it with a crunch here. Okay, wasn't good enough. Maybe I should just try Slash. Oh, that's not good. Try it anyway. 
Kingler got massive attack. Okay, about the same amount anyway. Go for the uh, critical chance, I guess. Everything will be okay. Am I running out of party members? I might be running out of party members. Kingler deserved to have a Gigantamax form because it didn't get to do anything for like so many years. No one in the game even uses one. No. He, he still, maybe he deserved it. Let him have his time. Wow, this is kind of bad, isn't it? <laughs> Should probably heal up for alligator in case I need them. Gonna make party s or item space anyway. Excellent, 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 excellent. Oh yeah, in chat, I haven't forgotten about some other spooky games I've been promising for a long time, like Haunting Ground. One day, I promise, one day. I'll get to it eventually. You get off my back. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to Switch. All right, let's try it again. So that was six swimmers, oops. I'm not really going to be able to beat these things up with her alligator now, so I may as well just repel. How much further can they make me go? Probably should use a super repel, I feel. Because the answer is going to be too much. Oh, that's a dead end. There's a whirl island over that way. Two left, huh? I'm on my way to World Islands. Going exploring with my friends. I can see Cienwood, but they're gonna make me go through the most obnoxious maze. Everyone in the Crystal Kaizo universe just does not understand the concept of, like, traffic, do they? Yep, yeah, that's fine, yo. Yo, Crooked Man is still on the list, too. Don't worry. Just move this thing over here. Throwing her in the ocean's not a good idea, but she does learn surf technically. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Fell in love, did I? Well, let's not fall in love. I'm sacrificing my shrew. Oh, you used a max potion, didn't you? Okay. Get nice, going right to Alola. Hmm. Can't one shot it. Oh, this is a problem, isn't it? Well, I'm just gonna sacrifice you, why don't I? Be useful for something. Oh. You're not gonna be useful for something. That was a four. She's not even wasting the ice beam on the mole. She knows she can take it out. Well, now. That was a pretty pitiful magnitude, wasn't it? Alright. Let's hope this kills. It might not. She might just live at, like, 1 HP. And there we go. I still have to fight one person after this, too. Tangula. Okay, I got Charizard for this. Technically, Heracross is still alive. Technically. Tangula's buff, too. Okay, does it get Tangrowth stats? Not that I know what... Tangula got huge buffs? Oh, no. R really? Why? It's Tangula. Ooh. Don't do that. Come on. Oh! I lost the confusion roll. 
that's cool. Please finish it off. Why do I keep losing the confusion rolls? Confuse no more. There you go. Kill. Burn it down. There you go. I'm really glad that stun spore missed. Okay. That's good right there. What's next? Sea King. I guess I'm gonna have to use for alligator for this. This next trainer might just wipe me out. <laughs> oh man. This is gonna be bad. Oh well. If I lose, I lose. Come on, enough for a two shot. I got the crit. It's double edge, but it's not stab. You can live this. Critical hit again. Take that level up. We're gonna fight the next one, no problem. Haley defeated. Is that how you do it? Yes. If you need to rest, just tread water. You'll get your wind back so you can keep on going. I think they might be the last trainers before I can just walk into CN Wood. I hope. I hope. Two Pokemon. Let's do it. Blossom. Ooh. Ooh. Can't safely switch you two in, can I? Let's go for it. Come on, critter freeze. Just take her out. No, that did nothing. No! All right, do this, do this. Okay, light her on fire. She can't live this. Ooh, there we go. One more. That's bad swimming advice. Treading water is still draining your stamina. Or stamina. Is that a that's actually a really bad advice to give? Okay. I'm out of earthquakes. I'm gonna have to go for like Mega Horn or Submission. I need this thing to die. Oh boy. Well, friend, welcome. We did it. The team is nearly dead, but we did it. Oh, you have more energy than I do. All right. Please tell me that's the end. Oh, there's still another one. All right. I'm gonna have to super potion my way out of this. Let's do it. I can't go all the way back. I can't. I'm gonna have to try and fight him. I'll put these two at max health, and we're gonna just go for it. Super potions are becoming obsolete soon anyway, so... I should have used them earlier. I was naive to think I wouldn't have to fight every single one of them. Okay, let's think about this for a second. Charizard doesn't have an item, so I'm gonna give it a bitter berry in case they confuse me. I'm out of earthquakes for Dana, so I'll have to rely on Mega Horn and Submission. Gotta be the last one. See these islands that are blocked by whirlpools? There just has to be a secret. Do I have any ethers? I have no idea. Maybe I do. Too late now. Okay. Here comes Dragonair. Just use submission. Of 
Quite enough. Spine. I'm only paralyzed. Too bad I don't have guts. Oh, you're gonna max potion, huh? Come on. That rolled high. You're gonna take recoil anyway. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, you had a crit. But you took yourself out. What's the secret to your strength? There's no more. Right? Right? Oh, there's more. Oh my god, there's more. Alright, I see at least one more trainer, so let's do this. I don't have anything else to cure paralysis, I think. Do I? We got a regular berry. Got PP up. No, I don't really have anything else. I'm gonna have to stay paralyzed. Okay. There's you. That's one of the island entrances. Oh my god, stop this crap. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. If I win, lend me your Pokemon. No, you can stay here and drown. My Pokemon are tired. What about me? What about me? Swimmer George. What? He has six Pokemon. It's over. It's so over. Why does he have six? Oh, okay. We're all gonna die. The teddies are gonna cry. We're gonna fight. Fight with all our might. Can't kill the paralysis, but I can do this. One down. I'm still here. Dane is still trucking along. Octillery. <sighs> Nothing I can do except just Mega Horn and hope it dies one hit. I don't think Submission would kill it one shot. Of course you have Flamethrower. Why wouldn't you have Flamethrower? Gonna lose half the money now. Super effective. And I missed. I missed it when I needed it the most. Ah, oh, well this is stupid. Now to go all the way back. Just finish me off, doesn't matter what I do now. He's a bit tired. He needs me to lend hit me. He needs me to lend him my Pokemon. And dead with a crit. All right. Well, that sucks. What do you want, Joey? Yeah, how's it going, Joey? You got a minute? How are your Pokemon doing? My rat's going raring to go. Only one I have. Don't care, Joey. Don't care. All right, well, there goes half my money, and I was earning a ton of that, too. I'll spend it now, after I've lost it all. Hyper potions. I'm gonna need more of these, clearly. Okay. Buy ten. And I'm gonna buy a bunch of hyper potions. Hang on, actually. What else you got? Ice heal, surf mail. Don't want those. Might need a bit more super repels now. Hyper potions for the roads. Probably gonna need ethers too. Give me a couple of those for now. Oh, I have no room. I probably should just sell the apricorns because I'm never gonna bother having Kurt actually use these into Pokeballs. Save the nugget for when I really need money, I guess. We're the blue one. Very. I'll buy three for now. 
And rest, probably just grab some hyper potions while we're at it. Now for this thing, is there really... No, I can't approach it from this side, can I? Alright, let's go to this, th let's go to the top of this then. I thought it was gonna make me go all the way, all the way to Cienwood or something. Back to the bottom. Wait, what? Why is it blocked off by a whirlpool? Hi, Corsola, how are you? I'm real glad you could join us for this touching moment. But I don't need you here. At all! I don't need you here at all! There we go. Yeah, I ain't getting in there right now. There's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe a Whirlpool thing will stop me from actually fighting Price. So do I have to do Jasmine after Price then? Alright then. I guess we're going to go back to the ocean. Never mind. Yeah, you get the Whirlpool HM after you beat the Team Rocket hideout in Mahogany. Alright, let me just go heal up again. I should be good to slam through the rest of this now. The game is trying to just space out the Team Rocket stuff, I suppose. Hope to see you again. Everything around this point in the game is normally really low level because you can go anywhere, but it really kind of backfires in my opinion. Everything is just too damn weak to fight. It puts Sakura back up front. Everyone is at least level 50 now. For Alligator's 57. You guys are here for moral support now. I'm so sorry. Alright. I am ready. Let's go ahead and use a super potion. Uh, super repel. I can't talk. Save rare candy for when we get the chuck. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, chat. We're gonna believe. We're going on a trip across the sea. We're setting sail for the One Piece. There we go. So that means we'll get there in a thousand episodes. Thank you all for joining. Welcome to Crystal Kaizo. Route 41! Okay, that's a dead end. Can't go any faster in the water. That guy led with water types at first, didn't he? Wasn't it Mantine? Yeah, I could Thunder Punch it, so keeping Sakura up front is good. In vanilla, no, CN1 doesn't have a normal Pokemart. It only has that one shop where you've got to go get to get the secret medicine. Things this way. There we go. It's not so bad when you use a repel and go past the trainers you already beat. But the encounter right here is pretty mean. What's that place in the Sevi Islands? The oh, the water maze? Fool's Gold made that a real maze. But this place is more of one, if you ask me. Let's keep going. Just keep going! I'm ready for you. You're a bit tired? Yeah, you're about to be dead. I'm gonna leave your corpse here to float. Hello, George. Him and his Mantine. Damn, it already been an hour and a half. Can you believe it? Kill this man. Okay. Octillery's got special moves, so maybe Sakura is fine to fight it. I hope. Eradicate. Oh, perfect. Send in Dana. Imagine if you had to travel through this ref sort of route every day for work. In the Pokemon universe, they kind of do. Skyla's like the only buddy in 
only person in the Pokemon universe that has a plane. She don't seem very that very responsible with it either. Even though there's a pilot trainer class now that I think about it. Okay, artillery. Send in Sakura. Let's fry it up. We're gonna try some Takoyaki. Nah. I actually don't really want to try Takoyaki very much. The idea of octopus anything in food doesn't sound very pleasant to me, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Oh! Lived. Those high defense IVs came in handy yet again. Octopus is kind of chewy. Ooh. You've had it before, Dylan. It's pretty good. Let's do it again. No more max potions, George. What else? What else you got? Lick a tongue. Ooh. It's just expensive for only a few. Well, I'd imagine... Uh, this might be a stupid question, but we don't really have that as much, like, octopus around, uh, the waters here, right? I don't know. As I, we did, as we deduced earlier, I don't think much about the ocean, because I'm afraid of it. Okay. I imagine it's more of, like, a bigger food in, like, Japan, because they can more easily get access to that. We got lobsters. Yeah. Not much of a lobster person, either. Because, like, isn't the whole... Aren't lobsters just bottom feeders? Just literally eating, like, the, the, the crap from other fish? Um... Let's go Dana here. Wait, what am I doing? I'm thinking about this wrong. Do this. Can I outspeed you? I'm gonna go for it. Yes, okay. I was a higher level. I knew I could do it. If you have a focus band, thank goodness. Oh boy. How can Doug Trio be in the sea? But very carefully. Victory Bell. This is where we send in Alucard. Man, if I could have gotten past that artillery, maybe Charizard and Dana could have done it. Last time, maybe. But, that doesn't matter. We lost a little bit of money, that's all. Ooh, boy. Excellent. Pant, pant. What about pants? It's so far to see Enwood, but it's not e no easy return trip to Olivine either. What should I do? Stay here and die. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you to do? And it's a dead end. Oceans are wild. On the topic of lobsters, like, um, y'all ever hear about, like, the blue lobster thing? How it's essentially a real-life shiny, everyone likes to call it. There's just an extremely, like, one in, like, million or two million chance that a lobster's, um... Something about the lobster that makes it red just kind of, like, messes up when it's, like, made. <laughs> made. <laughs> More like born. And it makes it blue instead of red. So it's just like a re basically like a real-life shiny. Hmm. I wonder how much those things, like, sell for. Or maybe there's, like, some, like, weird rich people restaurant where they pay, like, a lot to have the blue lobster. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. When lobster is generated. Hello, friend. Welcome. Oh. Kill. A 54. Not quite an Alakazam yet, but we're not going to let it evolve anyway. Let me get a drink here. When you cook blue lobster, it just turns red anyway. Ah. But you can say that it was blue. Right? Denise got one. Just one. 
I'm gonna go to Dana and just use submission. Let's take it out. I don't know if the lop the blue lobsters would have good IVs or not. No idea. Oh, you little scum. You just had to make things harder, didn't you? Let's get it. Yeah, crack it. Go to level 55. I don't think I learn any more moves after this, do I? Not that I'd want to change any of them on Dana. Ooh. I am using a Paralyzed Heal, because apparently this route is just has 20 more swimmers. Somehow, it will. Oops, I used it on Sakura by mistake. Man, you know what hurts? Uh, Y'all notice that Sakura only has 108 HP? I told you that IV was pretty damn bad. Compare it to the other ones who got 165, 140. Dugtrio doesn't count. Dugtrio's a joke for HP. <laughs> All right. Now, where the hell are we at? We're around this world island now. We are... Wrong thing, silly. Go down another one. Aircross has all the cool moves now. Heck yeah. The moles are gonna retire. They don't have to suffer with us anymore. Don't worry. Hey, okay, top one it is. Have we had enough of mazes for the day? I think we have. I certainly have. That's a dead end. Oh, this is, I'm on the CN Wood City map. Oh my god. Just putting the whirlpools there. Okay. This is the worst ocean voyage of my life. We're gonna go up, all the way up, and all the way down again now. Get excited. All right, we're no longer in Cianwood City. Gotta use another repel. I should start using up the regular repels since I'm clearly running out of item space. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. All right, there's the last one. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. The second last one. You look so elegant riding your Pokemon. Oh, two more trainers and we're free. We're free! Right? I hope. How many- I didn't realize there were this many swimmers on this route. I thought, like- And I make an effort normally to fight them all, too. Susie's gonna kill us. Not unless I kill her first. Oh, she lived. Aha! Hurt yourself confusion and die. It never works out the way I want it to. Come on. I would love to win just one confusion roll today. But that never happens, does it? Kill. 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 1971. Excellent. About to use Lantern. Alright. Earthquake. At least when I get the Chuck's Gym, there aren't that many trainers in there. Hopefully. I'm probably- I probably should just use the PP up on Dana's Earthquake or something. It's seeming like a good contender for this. I don't know. But I shouldn't have to worry about that until... It won't be mandatory to worry about it until, like, at least they leave four, I think. Flareon. Okay, send it out. Flareon. More like Baryon, because we're going to bury it with Earthquake. 
That was a reach, but it doesn't matter. This ocean is the bane of my existence today. I wasn't expecting the ocean to be the most infuriating part of this, but here we are. Can't enter the- doesn't look like I can enter the lighthouse until after I finish the rocket hideout. Mm, you're paralyzed now. You know what, I'll keep you in just rock slide. Or honestly, maybe I should just go for submission since you're normal- part normal anyway. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, that's psychic. Well, it's only Togetic, unless it got buffed. Mm, okay, good, I'm alive. Break the Togetic. Would a Dragonite be good? Because random Pokemon are pack an Ice Beam. So I'm not sure. Wigglytuff, send it in. We'll break its bones. Even though it wobbles like it has none, we know it does. The tough is down, the tough is down. I can't live. It has a crap ton of HP. Okay. That's true, the Dragon's Den one would give you a Dratini with extreme speed. That wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Zoomeral. You're paralyzed. I'll let for alligator just do it. Extreme speed is 100 base power. Sick. Does um that particular Dratini have set IVs? Or DVs? I could soft reset for a good one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Swap it. The free switch in sacrifice, so I can just get rid of attract. Took some recoil off that too. Darn, I'm not sure if I can kill it one hits. Ah, uh, Dana could probably finish it off, and the whole point of her being a girl is so that she can't fall for the strat. Just submission. You're not fairy type. I don't have to be afraid of you. You don't have huge power either. You're just a dork. Or, did they just double its attack stat to essentially give it huge power anyway? I don't know, remember if they did or not. I can't remember what Pokemon got buffs from Crush. Alright. Paralyze heal, now. We're almost out. We're almost out. And I guess I'll just use up the Super Potions before I switch to using Hyper Potions full-time. Azumarill got left out of the buffs? Okay. Every Pokémon is viable. No, they're not. Never. At night, Staryu gather near the water surface. Hint, hint, Staryu appears at night. I guess. Is that a thing starfish do? I don't know. Then again, I never really think about Staryu and Starmie being, like, aquatic creatures. Even though they're water type, they look like machines to me. Probably because of the glowing, like, video game weakness eye. Hit with Psybeam. I'm gonna think of it, why are they even psychic type? That was a, that's always weird to me. There we go. I think they're based on something from Ultraman, is it? I wouldn't know much about that. Alright, here we go. That's not Thunder Punch. I hit Ice Punch by mistake! Ooh, good, you missed. Alright, remember, I gotta hit B every time this thing levels up. Can't let myself have a Alakazam. Not until it learns Psychic Ampharos. Hello, Earthquake. I'd say that these four in the lead have great coverage now. Ironically, for Alligator's not that useful because we're in the ocean, so it can't really do anything except spam Slash or Crunch in like an emergency. 
We got Anthony. Kill it. Break it. Amphi... Ampharos has a longer neck than Giraffarig, which is funny to think about. Rapidash? Okay, well, there's something you can do, but... Yeah, I'll let you do it, I guess. Spam Surf, I can't do anything. Haven't seen any bears on the trainers lately. I don't think Ursaring's very good in this game, because otherwise everybody would be having a teddy. Everybody should have a teddy, because they're little friends. With recoil. Drown the horse! I got Mystic Water on, you can't live. There you go. Twenty fifty six. Dugong. Yeah, just break it with submission. Never really got to use Ampharos much in Gen 2, because I played Crystal mostly. And for some reason, Crystal decided no more Mareep. Or any electric types in a casual playthrough, really. I guess there's Magnemite and uh Elekid if you get the odd egg. I, I guess. Pichu from the Odd Egg, but can you really count the Odd Egg for this? Not really. Chincho, that, that, that's quite late into the game at that point, though. You need at least the Good Rod for that, don't you? And then you have to backtrack to get find it? I don't remember. So I'll stay in. You could catch Raiko! <laughs> That's a great electric type. Even getting Jolteon's a pain because, um, in order to get the, ele the, the elemental stones, they had to add something extra in Crystal version that Gold and Silver didn't have. Where you have to talk to certain, um, NPCs to get their phone number, and they have a chance of giving you an item. And three of them... There's three of them for the elemental stones. I think it's Dana Lass on the route to the left side of Ecritique that can give you the Thunderstone. It's quite a pain in the butt. Are we there? Are we there? No, we're not there. Pal spec wore off. Just a bit more. Just a bit further. Just a bit further. The reason they do that with the Elemental Stones in Gen 2 is because I guess they wanted to encourage you to use Umbreon or Espeon. They put a cut tree at the end of this. They put a cut tree at- They're gonna make me fight Usain before I go to the Pokemon Center. Good thing I've rocked this, but like, oh my god, that's mean. Okay, no they're not. Good. 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 Alright. I made it to CN what I hate it. I hated that, oh my god. That was one of the worst routes ever of all of Kaizo so far. Imagine if you didn't have cut after all that, yeah. Now it sucked. Thank you for the raid there, third fist. Appreciate it. Alright. I guess we should beat up you scene for the experience. My levels are looking good. I should make a save, it's been a little bit. My playtime is high because I had to, like, power grind between streams. That's how I got the Charizard, duh. Can't get the secret potion because I haven't talked to Jasmine. Kind of shocked they didn't force this battle to happen. Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a gl glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune run in the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, let's battle. Here he comes. Mystical Man got a Zatu. A shiny Zatu. That doesn't look very shiny to me, but okay. 55? Okay. 
This one goes out to all the people that think I level up a little too much. That thing is higher level than me. <laughs> this is why I need to keep training. Kill. All right, I got the magnet, so Thunder Punch. Just imagine, like, Kadabra, like, wearing the magnet as, like, a ring or something, so that, like, it, it's like a punch that does more damage. You know how they wear, like, those fancy rings for that? You, you know what I'm trying to say. Interesting, he went for Nightshade. Did a lot of damage, though. He's got full restore. He's got deep pockets. He's got Bright Powder on, on his Pokemon. Ooh, not good. The Knuckle Dusters, yeah, that's what they call. Come on. Oh boy! Deep pockets, high levels. Last we saw of our man. Oh, I got bright powder. And I'm dead. That was a fun exchange. He uses two two full restoring potions, and then I lose to bright powder. I finish him with flamethrower. Well, at least he used up all his healing items. That makes me a sad bear. Yes, it does. Raichu. Okay, Dana, go. That's shiny Raichu? Why does it look like someone turned down the brightness on that sprite in Photoshop? It looks so strange. That's right, it didn't affect me. Go. No, I wouldn't even say desaturate. It just looks like someone just turned down the brightness slider. Looks like someone needs to polish it, yeah. Uh, Arcanine. Her alligator should be fine for this. Ew, it's got- it, it's supposed to be, like, yellow-ish, but it looks like it's got that poop color that most of the sprites in Pokemon Yellow have. Extreme speed. Unfortunately, that won't be enough to hurt me. Take it out. Also, look at that pose for Arcanine. It looks like it's disgusted at me. It's like, ooh, look at you. Get away from me. But you can't unsee that now. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this cool pose, but I can't unsee the fact that it just looks disgusted. Disgusted and gross. Well, it looks like we're gonna have time to try the gym, and then we'll probably switch to Corby. That'll be fun. Alright, killed it. What's he got? Three more. Okay, he's got a jump bluff. Uh, I have Ice Punch. I'm gonna go for it. It's pink. Speaking of round pink things... Oh. Damn it. Well, this is bad. Jump bluff has speed, so it's probably always gonna get to try that first, won't it? Oh, no. I need you to wake up. No! Well, at least I can't Giga Drain Charizard, so just finish me off. Flyby. That silly little piece of crap. Okay, Alucard, you're up. Don't blow it. It's five levels ahead of me. And life is cool. Are you all ready to watch Charizard sleep and do nothing? I know I'm excited. Oh, I woke up turn one. Let's go! Come on. Take it out. Light it on fire. Oh, boy. Let's go for that. So, you, do you think because, like, this thing's based on a dandelion, 
Do you think if you, like, blow, like, on the pluff and it, like, spreads, like, the little seeds everywhere, do you think when they hit the ground they just grow into hopips? Like, all of a sudden a hopip just, like, hops out of the ground and is like, hello, I am here now. Vaporeon. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to go with Dana for this one. Hey, it's got that pale pink look. I kind of like that better than the, um, the saturated pink one. Alright. Let's go Submission. It's got Bright Powder. Mega Horn's even more of a liability. Okay, one more. Come on. Looks like a Ditto. It kind of does, now that you mention it. It's like Ditto transformed into Vaporeon. Take it out. You can do it. Finish it off. Ugh, that was crit. Cool. There's one left. Can we do it? Alakazam. Oh, God. We're in trouble. We are in so much trouble. Oh, no. All I can hope is I outspeed it, but it's Alakazam. I'm not going to outspeed it. And that's all anyone can do here. We're getting swept. His got psychic, mine don't. I ain't gonna live that. I doubt Doug Trio can outspeed at 10 levels lower. It's not gonna be able to miss psychic either. Not unless I can land a try attack and paralyze it. <laughs> if I live this, but I doubt it. Well, I already spent all my money and stuff anyway, don't matter. Get shrewd. It's going seismic toss. At least I got a ton of EXP, I can just get more by going back, that's right. Honestly, I can just use him as like a training dummy if I need to. Um, what causes him to despawn? Wait, what? Oh, seismic toss, okay. This match is one time? Oh! Okay, so it doesn't matter if I win or lose. Right? If I go back up, he just won't be there anymore. Wait, what? There's more? Oh! It's the cafe! Oh! This is where they put it. Okay. Here, use this. They put this there just so I had to battle him. And they put it in the wrong city. Well, they put it somewhere. So I think the reason that's there is because I can use strength whenever. They're basically trying to encourage me to um, not leave and use strength and beat Chuck first, right? We just go ahead. He was put it on the shrew. Yeah, learn it here. I may not have beaten the Alakazam, but whatever, it's not a big deal. HM user, here you go. And I can't get anything from this guy yet. What's up? Need some medicine? Just regular stuff, I guess. Well, I guess I can just spend this money now, since I did have a little bit from those swimmers. Oh well. Don't need a max repel yet, but may as well buy one. Alright, whatever. 
You don't give the HM until after, right? Cross the sea to get here, that must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly, but you can't use fly without the city's gym badge. Beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Oh, what the hell is this? Um... There's enough room. I'm just making sure I'm thinking about this right. Okay, so they're gonna do it this way, huh? Definitely gonna need Sakura for this. Unfortunately, I can't let Sakura become Alakazam, but I shouldn't need to do that. It'll pay off in the long run to keep her around until I get Psychic. There's only four gym trainers here, so after these four, I should just be able to fight uh, Chuck. That is not a fighting type, but okay, I have Fire Punch. It doesn't matter. I'll break your bones. You can't live this legally. You're a Scizor. You have to die. Ooh, that's a big chunk change. So the Wado, also not quite a fighting type, if you ask me, but okay. Uh, let's let Dana break it. It's better to prioritize Dana getting the experience than, like, for Alligator now. It looks so wobbly. Do you think you could break Sudowoto in half? Would it bleed if you did that? Because it's not a tree, it's a rock, so wouldn't it just, like, just be a rock on the inside? Or would it snap? I don't know, I'm just thinking about it suffering all of a sudden. Nothing strange about that. It's Sona Wado. Who cares? Oh, he's got a max potion. Here he goes. Sakura should get Psychic at level 67, uh, I think. Or higher. If I let it evolve to Alakazam, it won't learn it anymore, so... That's why I have to wait. No more max potions. Oh boy, a little bit there. Hitmonchan he finally has his actual Mon now. Uh, I guess I'll just side beam it. It can mock punch, but I can resist. Let me stand up and stretch a little bit. Oof. You know, chat, I don't exactly like summer lately, but I feel like it's starting to grow on me this year. That's probably because I have a fan set up. Fans are nice. Kind that, like, blows wind on you, not the kind that you all are in chat. Earthquake? That's not good. I don't know why I had to distinguish that, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, that defense IV is coming in clutch yet again. Why did I... Why did I not think you'd do that? There we are. Well, you let Charizard finish it off. It can't be Earthquaked. Start blasting him. I have to immediately fight the next guy, too. I don't have a, I don't have a revive. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't really think of Mach Punch's Gen 2 move as well, yeah. But it is. I can't leave until after the gauntlet, which is a bit annoying. Okay, he's leading with Lee. Well, just go right for submission. Break his legs. Kill, kill, kill. Ooh, look at that, a critical hit. Can we hit 57? No, it's not hit 57. Not yet. Not quite. Sand Slash. Uh, well, I gotta use for Alligator now. Can surf with that. The summer heat is is annoying, but it can be kind of cozy during the day when you don't have to worry about, like, going out. Like, when you're sitting at home playing video games, especially as an adult, 
you just kind of, it kind of just reminds you of like summer vacation of when you're a kid. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Those carefree days when you didn't have to worry about a thing. 1920. Holly Toad. That's a weird one to have. Um, I'll keep letting Dana just break it apart. It's so rare to see Holly Toad's Gen 2 sprite. Because no one, like, ever uses one in Gen 2. No, Kaizo would never let the trainers reset. Because if they did that, it would be extremely easy to farm experience. And they can't have that happening. If every trainer in the gym reset after you beat them, that would actually just make the game easier. <laughs> Which is funny. Use submission. Alright, how much attack I got now? Damn, I'm at 155? That's pretty good. That's shocking. Well, now I gotta go through this. Use up the super potion. Give a little bit to our girl Dana here. And we'll go right back in. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Sounds like someone does not have very good problem-solving skills. Both winter and summer can be very comfy. All the seasons can be comfy when you think about it. Autumn's really nice, even though it doesn't last very long for me here. I'm gonna go right to for Alligator for this one. You're probably gonna go explode, too. Autumn is just like a couple of weeks where the temperature is just right, and you play spooky games, and we love it. Okay, nothing really bad there. Although I love sitting inside when there's a snowstorm going on. That's also pretty cozy. Spring is also pretty nice, but I didn't have a very good spring. Like, many of you know this because I find an excuse to bring it up every f a single stream now. Most of most of spring for me was just like kind of feeling like I was recovering from that from hitting my head. And then at the end of it, of it all, there was like the wildfires, and that wasn't very pleasant or stressful either, was it? I think I said it things backwards there. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh... Might have Rock Slide on my choke, so I'll just go with this. Hey. Hello, friend. Welcome. Uh, yeah, spring, I didn't really do a whole lot. Spr the months of spring was me just kind of, like, stressing to, like, try and finish anything, but I couldn't, like, finish anything. <laughs> I had, I had some fun, though. We had some fun streams and playthroughs, for sure. You gotta focus on the positive a bit. Okay, let's break it apart. Just make some- we'll just make sure summer's a lot more fun and comfier. I don't mind winter anymore, since I don't really have to worry about, um... Like, shoveling, like, a driveway or anything anymore. Um... You know what? Send it in. I'm not gonna risk Rock Slide, but Submission should be good enough for you. My attack is freaking high, so go for it. There you go. Wobbuffet. What? Oh, this is fantastic. If I use up Dunk Trio, I could spam Try Attack and see if I could status it before someone else finishes it off. Alright, let's get him. I'm gonna go for it. I guess Wobbuffet can make a little bit of sense here because it's a punching bag, right? In the fighting gym. In fact, wasn't, like, the, the Fool's Gold Wobbuffet a punching bag and became part fighting type? Like, it looked more like a traditional training one. Alright, there I go. I guess I don't have a choice but to just brute force it now. I was hoping I could give it one of the three conditions to make this easier, but... 
All I did was soften it up a bit. Critical hit. Oh, poor you. You used the wrong one. Oh, poor me. You assumed it would be that easy. Never mind. Here we go. I'm sure Wobbuffet is very good against the CPU. I haven't even lowered its stats once with this. Alright, hit me with the mirror coat now. If I send out Heracross, Megahorn would more than kill it for sure now. I'm not fully confident it would have been able to kill it from one hit. It's level 55. And from all we know, it put, like, um, defense and HP ever values on the thing. There we go. Nice. Still one more. My Raging Fist will shatter your Pokémon. Alright, so... We'll see if we can beat Chuck, or give a few attempts on Chuck. And then we'll switch games. Because that ocean kind of physically drained me a bit. And, yeah, you know, we've actually been going for just over two hours, so... It'll be a good enough, uh, size episode anyway. Alright, here we go. By the way, chat, on the subject of, like, RPG playthroughs this summer, because I've been looking forward to that... Um... I still want to play Mother 1, but I'm also kind of... I kind of really want to play um, Super Mario RPG now, not since they announced a remake. I'll keep Dana in. Let's do this. Submission it. Pop it. So I'll probably make time this summer to try to play through that. The remake doesn't come out until, like, November. It's like... It's basically, like, a, close to the holiday season. Ooh, I lived. Okay, good. Excellent. But still first, I gotta finish Digimon Cyber Sleuth. That's a really... been a really long game, and I'm enjoying it. Since I got some time for it. Hmm. Hang on. But I want to finish that up before I start another long RPG, for sure. Okay, Grand Bully is down. Yes, there's a lot of stuff coming out closer to November now. Isn't, um... There's also that new Sonic game that kind of looks cool. I kind of wanted to play some 2D Sonic again, because that's looking nice. Let me fix this here. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if the Mario RPG remake will keep the Final Fantasy boss. I'm not sure about that at all. It's kind of funny, because for a while, people assumed that, like, Nintendo Square relations were really bad because they didn't put Mario RPG on, like, uh, Switch Online. But this basically confirms that the whole reason it wasn't there is because they were making the, the remake. Alright, let's see here. Let me make a save here. That Star Ocean game looked cool, but I don't know much about that series at all. I love just getting to play JRPGs, though. A lot of them I can't really stream because they cause copyright issues. Shoutouts to all of Final Fantasy and Persona. There we go, for different reasons. But a lot of those are fun to play on my own, too. Some of them are also just way too long to want to do as a stream anyway. I was probably going to replay Persona 3 Original on my own before I, uh, play the remake for myself. Looking forward to that. Anyways, wahaha, so you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokémon will crush stones. I probably should have spent the trainer money I just got, but I really don't care that much. It's fine. Crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Ugh! He threw the rock. I like how his arena looks more cool than the vanilla... Gym. They actually did a good job with this. It looks nice. Scared now? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on now, we shall do battle.
Leader Chuck would like to battle. What's he got? He's starting with Polyrath. Okay. Is he gonna... Level 60. You're telling me after all that? <laughs> they're still stronger than me. Okay. That's his first Mon, too. Alright. Do I go for the Paralysis, or... Now, let's see how much I can do with my best stab move first. Every time, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna beat him today, for sure. The ocean will be an easy place to grind between episodes, though. Oh, I got the confusion. Hang on. Come on. Not even once. I can't win the confusion chance once. This whole episode... I Has any opponent this whole stream got hurt in it in confusion? It don't feel like it. Tell you that much. Well then, now what do I do? I just spam Dana and hope I win. Well, do this. I forget, does uh, fighting resist bug? I don't actually remember. I don't know if I want to risk the accuracy of Mega Horn. Please, please, just one. Please, just one. Oh, finally, thank goodness. All right, one down. I think so. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Magmar. Okay. I need to save Dana, so let's use for alligator for a surf here. Look at that shiny boober. Bug and fighting resist each other. Okay, I couldn't remember. Let me be sure. Oh god. Okay. Magmar is fast. I'm not sure if Heracross can be faster than it. Come on, let's go. Hurt yourself, confusion. Okay. 50, 50, my ass. This is a lie. It's got Thunder Punch. I kind of expected that, but it's alright. Go. And I'm dead. What an exciting battle. You lost the coin flip die. Alright. Well, I wonder if I could just let Doug Trio try and soften it up. With one hit. Okay, that's good. Cross chop. Oh. Well, I guess it makes sense for it to have a fighting move. I should have just stayed in with Dana then. At least I know I'm faster than Magmar now. That's good. It's good for next time. Oh, and I got a crit on it. Four left. Electabuzz. Okay, I can Earthquake at least two of these. I gotta be able to. You don't even look shiny. Your shadows just look a bit green. Okay, no. Electabuzz outspeeds me. Fine. Probably has, like, Ice Punch or something to deal with, like, ground types. Okay, I can one-shot it with Earthquake. Good to know. Hypno. Okay, go for Mega Megahorn. Hypno is the last thing I expected the Fighting Gym Leader to have, but alright. Dana might be able to get a good sweep against this whole team, if I can just keep this going. Oh, that's right, I have the Soft Sand on Dana, so Earthquake should definitely, like, one-shot Magmar as well. Uh, Primeape. It's probably gonna have Rock Slide, but all of them might have it anyway, so... I'm gonna let Charizard try and soften it up. But I don't know what the last one is, so it could be risky. 62. Okay, I would speed ya. Because I'm not confident I can one-shot Primeape with, like, Submission or anything. Ooh, it's not a two-shot. Yeah, there's Rock Slide. It's over. Darn. 
11 levels higher than me. Charizard needs more training. Even though it did pretty good against the uh, regular trainers this episode, for sure. I hope that was enough to make this finish. Oh, it's faster than me. Great. Don't paralyze. Don't paralyze. Don't paralyze. Still have a chance. Still have a chance. There we go. <sighs> Come on, so close to that level up. Ursa Ring. Let's go. Let's go. 1v1v. Me versus Teddy. Who wins? Can I break the bear? Can I break the bear? No! So close. But I know I can do this. I just had bad RNG with the start with Sakura. <laughs> the shrew can do it, yet. Go for it, little shrew. Go! I believe in you. Maybe. Hitting me with max power friendship punch. No! Beaten by a shiny bear. How could this happen? Alright. Maybe I should just go in the water and get some level right quick, too. Should also make a save. Hang on. We can definitely beat that. Like, Dana is set up to just absolutely, like, destroy that team. And she's about to get one level as well. Hang on. There we go. Little fish. Excellent. Gotta remember, I gotta press B. I'll be able to fly after I beat this gym, so I can get the Everstone next time easily. Okay, assuming I can beat Chuck. Uh, I'd say this was good progress today. Return is modified to always be 102 power. Okay, right. That's That was it. Was that max power or not? Oops. Okay, I gotta press B. Don't want to get distracted here. This hurts to do, by the way. I just want you to know that. It hurts to stop Sakura from freaking evolving. Ugh. But I have to. It's better in the long run. All right, now let's level up Dana. Every like a few members here are so close to a single free level, so it's good. I might still switch in Charizard against Primate because softening that thing up by a little bit easily makes sure that Dana can win the Primate matchup. Um, this one level might make me able to finish off Ursa Ring. I don't know if I rolled low or not. There we go. Good gains on you. What about Alucard? Yeah, you're not needed for this fight anyway. I can't even teach myself fly. No, you don't matter. I may as well give for Alligator one more level, but I really wasted for Alligator in the last attempt. I should have just kept Dana in to use Earthquake on Magmar, especially since now that I know I can outspeed it. I don't know if this one level will make a difference for outspeeding Electabuzz and Primate, but we'll see. Yeah, I really don't want to let Sakura evolve until she gets Psychic. It'll be- she'll be fantastic when she gets there, though. It's fine. Oh, great. This is the pain of not being able to one-shot things here. Doesn't matter. I just gotta kill you. Kill one thing. All right. A little bit of gains for you. Oh. Um. No, I have surf. But uh. No. I'm not gonna take it. What? I, I just said no. Excuse me? 
No! Oh. I said no! Stop learning. Okay, good. Why did it try to learn it like five times there? This just happens to him? How's it going? This is Joey. Got a minute? How my Pokemon doing? Rat has rare to go. It's the only one I have. I'm gonna become that. Did they program the move to be learned five times at that level? Or was it four times? I wasn't really counting. And they really wanted it to learn that move. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. The game is like, you sure? You sure you don't want to learn Hydro Pump? I'm pretty sure. Because it'll just miss. Alright. I thought it was going to make me do it to get it to end. Okay, so now we're going to lead... Hmm. Psybeam against Polyrath seemed good. I can easily two-shot it. Uh, did I live last time? I'm not sure, actually. Make a save. We'll have to see here. It equaked me, right? Hmm. If that's the case, I probably should save Sakura for other parts. Charizard didn't even learn Wing Attack when I was training it, by the way. Uh, maybe I should just let for Alligator take out Polyrath? I might have to do that. Let's go again. Let's do it. probably better off saving Sakura as, like, an emergency switch-in to finish something off, because I don't think she can really one-shot anything at these levels with Psybeam, which is another reason I really need Psychic for the endgame. You might not be- I might not be able to one-shot you, but you can't one-shot me. I just need some lucky crits now. Good god do I need lucky crits. Yeah, you're gonna get stab on that. Oh boy. This is all for alligator can really do in this fight, too. It's polyrath, I also can't really use a water move on it. Yeah, I got the crit. Is it gonna go for the heal now? Okay, it didn't. Good. Hypno. Alright. Now it's time for Dana. Please don't miss the Mega Horn. This is really important. I don't know why Hypno is here. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh. Okay, pardon that click. That was just me just hitting the mute button so I could sneeze. That snuck up on me. Alright, nice, I hit it. Really don't know why this guy has a Hypno. Like, uh... It just is there. Mm. Magmar, alright, send it in. It's time for the sweep. You got this, Dana. You got this. You can one-shot it if you believe! Nice. Now what? Electabuzz, there we go. It has Seismic Toss, I, I mean I guess, but every Pokémon can kind of get that. Yeah, it had Fire Punch. Alright. Oof, that was just my finger cracking there. I'm good. Okay, now we take it out. We can do this. 
Ursaring's also not a fighting Pokemon, but it is a big teddy. Give me a drink. Okay, Primeape. This is pretty much all that's left for Sakura to fight, so I'll just let Sakura hit this. Alright, hit with the beam. Hit it with the beam! Ooh. Okay, it's got Earthquake. Do I die from this? Yeah, I die from this. Damn. Alright, Dana can finish this off now. I just gotta spam submission and I win. You were still at speed in me. No, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Really? <sighs> that was so silly. Faster than you. Take it out. That was the worst timing for a crit. Like, come on. Should I just send in Charizard to finish it off? Got the darn thing without speed me. I'm gonna lose to the Ursa Ring now. Crap. If I land a burn, it'd be pretty... pretty bad shape. It looks like it's playing guitar. Alright, Teddy, let's go. Can't really afford to go for smoke screen, though. Ursa is really slow. Got the crit. It's going friendship. Oh no! Don't, 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 don't. Oh, the Earth is down. Is he in heal range? Is he in heal range? Go for the surf, girl. Or guy. Yes! Yes! I'm sorry, Teddy friend, but you had to go down. The big bear was defeated. I lost? How about that? You're worthy of the storm badge. Look at that. Look at that, chat. I finally beat a gym leader again, and I didn't have to grind for a thousand hours. This also technically makes submission stronger for Heracross now, too. Dynamic Punch. Dynamic Punch is so bad, even the uh, Kaizo version of him doesn't want to use it. <laughs> I didn't really have to go to the Super Grind as well. Alright, now give me this. Perfect. So we got Strength. That means... Yeah, I can't access the Lighthouse without Whirlpool, so I have to go to Mahogany through Mount Mortar. And do the entirety of the Rocket Hideout next. Hmm. I got fly. That's good. Alright, we'll go ahead and save here. We're gonna switch over to play some Kirby now. It looks like... Yeah, two and a half hours is pretty good. We made some good progress. Um, Charizard's definitely pulling its weight, but it's definitely the one that needs to level up a little bit more. Sakura is still a great Kadabra, but she's gonna need to, like, work overtime a little bit so that she can get to be the best possible Alakazam. There we go. Anyways, game save. We're gonna take a quick break here. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this so far. Have a good night. Bye-bye.